Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. Hello and welcome to round one of the 2020 Castlecombe Junior Karting Championship. The track conditions are damp with a few dry patches appearing which makes it really difficult for these drivers on slick tyres. Here is the grid for the A final. Ryan Taylor and George Taylor on the front row, no relation between them. Ben Frankham and Jake Holly on the second row. Jamie Watson and Jack Elliott on the third row and Freddie Watts and Oscar Eistead on the fourth row. Feel free to pause the video here and read the information on the right hand side for more information or visit the website at castlecombekarting.co.uk. Wait for the lights to go green which they do now and it's a good start from everyone. Uh, Ryan Taylor looks like he's converted pole position into the lead. George Taylor is on the outside trying to find his way through on the outside as they head into the chicane but he has lost out and Ben Frankham up into second place. Jamie Watson in third, but it's Ben challenging Ryan for the lead as they head into the top corner. Ben gets sideways and spins. He's collected by George Taylor. Ben puts his hand in the air. George carries on as they all head back down the hill. And it, we're watching Freddie Watts there in fifth place as the red flags come out. Hopefully Ben Frankham is all okay after that crash. So we have a quick watch of a replay here. As he heads into the top corner, the back steps out, he spins and bang. George Taylor crashes into him, a hefty hit there. Ben has his hand in the air straight away to signal that he's in a bit of pain. But we're happy to re report that Ben is all okay and happy to take the restart. Everyone in their original grid positions as they go for the green light. And Jake Holly looks like he struggled a little bit away from the lights there. But Ryan Taylor has the lead. And George Taylor is behind him in second. Ben Frankham in third. And Jamie Watson in fourth with... Jake Holly and Freddie Watts battling for fifth there. But George Taylor challenging Ryan Taylor for the lead. But Ryan holding on as we see Oscar Eistead have a spin at the back there. But they head back down the hill. Jamie Watson challenging Ben Frankham for third position. Jake Holly a little bit further back in fifth. And Freddie Watts in sixth. Jack Elliott in seventh. So they head through the bottom corner, through the chicane. And Ryan Taylor has opened up a gap out in front ahead of George Taylor. Ben Frankham holding on to third under a little bit of pressure from Jamie Watson with Jake Holly pulling away from the battle behind. Freddie Watts not too far behind and Jack Elliott just hanging on to the back of this battle for second place. As we see Jamie Watson get a little bit sideways there, he's under pressure from Jake Holly. But out in front, Ryan Taylor is pulling away, setting fastest lap after fastest lap and he He's opened up a big gap already under no pressure out in front. But George Taylor in second is under a loss of pressure. Ben Frankham trying to close up, trying to find a way through, but is not able to. As Freddie Watts has a spin there, Jack Elliott takes evasive action, goes around the outside, but Freddie looks like he's held on to the position. So Freddie holding on to that sixth place, Jack in seventh. But they have now dropped a long way away from the battle for second place. As we see Oscar Eisted there heading through, trying to catch up after his earlier spin. George Taylor in second place. Ben Frankham not close enough to make an overtake. Jamie Watson a bit further back in fourth. And Jake Holly closing up in fifth. None of them are quite close enough to make a move. But Jack Elliott and Freddie Watts are close. They come out of the top corner side by side. But Freddie holds on to that sixth place. Jack unable to find a way through. But Ryan Taylor opening up a bigger and bigger lead every single lap. He is driving absolutely brilliantly in this race. George Taylor holding on to that second place. Ben Frankham in third. Jamie Watson not quite close enough in fourth as he does dive up the inside. He was a bit far back there, unable to make it stick. But he had a, had a good go. But Ben holds on to that third place. The three of these are together, bumper to bumper. And Jake Holly just behind in fifth place. As we see Freddie Watts and Jack Elliott head through as well in 6th and 7th. Ryan Taylor heading up the hill. He has got a big, big lead over George Taylor. And Ben Frankham right behind George Taylor. Still not quite close enough as we see Jamie get a little bit sideways. Jake Holly dives up the inside and through. Brilliant move there from Jake Holly. A little bit sideways on the exit. But he is through into 4th place. Great, great move there from Jake Holly. And will he be able to do anything about the two in front? and get himself onto the podium. 
Freddie Watts heads through in sixth. Jack Elliott in seventh, not close enough to make a move there either. But out in front, Ryan Taylor has been opening up this lead, getting bigger and bigger every single lap. Brilliant, brilliant driving, really tricky conditions. But George Taylor under pressure from Ben Frankham still. Ben not quite able to find a way through. And Jake Holly a little bit further back in fourth, not able to challenge at this moment as they're coming down to start the last lap of the race. Jamie Watson a little bit further back in fifth as well. But George Taylor is the man under pressure in second place. As they head through the chicane for the final time, Ben Franken trying to get closer to make a move. He is close. This is probably the closest he's been all race. But George Taylor covers that inside line. Ben is not able to find a way through. He's not quite able to get the exit. As we see Jamie Watson have a spin in the background there. Ryan Taylor has come through to win the race. But George Taylor is holding on to second place. So they head through the last corner. And George takes second place. Ben Frankham in third. And Jake Holly in fourth after that brilliant move. Freddie Watts takes a great uh, fifth place. Jack Elliott in sixth. And Jamie Watson dropped down to seventh after that spin at the end. So here is confirmation of the results, their fastest lap from the race and also the points scored towards the championship. So Ryan Taylor gets 50 points for the win plus a bonus point for fastest lap. George Taylor takes second, Ben Frankham third, Jake Holly in fourth, Freddie Watts fifth, Jack Elliott sixth, Jamie Watson in seventh actually with the second fastest lap of the race and Oscar Eisted completes the field in eighth place. And now it is time for the B final. So this race is for the drivers who make up 9th to 15th place from the heats. And Luke Cridland lines up on pole position alongside Luke Green. Ethan Burley and Casper Chadwick are on the second row of the grid, with John Smith and Thomas Hughes on the third row, and Sam Skellett rounding out the grid in 7th place. Now, the track conditions are still very difficult, and quite a few of these drivers are actually in their first championship with us. Luke Green, John Smith, Thomas Hughes and Sam Skellett. So it'll be great to see how they progress through the season. Waiting for the lights to go green, which they do now. And both Lukes on the front row get away well. They're side by side as they head into the first corner. But it looks like it's the orange helmet of Luke Cridland that holds onto the lead ahead of Luke Green. Ethan Burley is in third position and Casper Chadwick holding on to fourth place ahead of Thomas Hughes. So they head up towards the top corner. Thomas Hughes is trying to find a way through as Luke Green has a look on the inside of Luke Cridland and John Smith further back finds a way through past Thomas Hughes and up into fifth place. Great move there from John Smith. So they head back down the hill to start the second lap of the race. Luke Cridland's got a bit of a lead back to Luke Green who is under pressure from Ethan Burley and Casper Chadwick that bit further back in fourth. Luke Cridland leads the way. Luke Green holding on to second, but Ethan Burley is closing up. He's looking for a way through as they head into the top corner, and Ethan takes a wider line, trying to get the cut back. He's not quite able to do it. As we see, John Smith on the other side of the track have a little bit of a spin, so that will drop him back down the order. But Luke Cridland maintains this lead, holding on ahead of Luke Green. Ethan Burley in third and Casper Chadwick in fourth. As we see Sam Skellett in sixth holding off John Smith. But Luke Cridland still has the lead. Luke Green holding on to second but he's got a bit of a slow exit out of the chicane. Is Ethan Burley going to be able to find his way through as they head up towards the top corner? But Ethan isn't able to find a way through but Luke spins and Ethan does get through into second. Casper Chadwick up into third and Thomas Hughes into fourth. Sam Skellett and John Smith and John Smith actually up into fifth as well. Sam Skellett down to sixth and Luke Green after that spin dropping down to seventh, which is a real shame as he was doing well. He looks for another way back through, but is in seventh place now. So Luke Cridland has the lead. Ethan Burley is going to be trying to close up onto him and Casper Chadwick in third also trying to close. Thomas Hughes is now on his own in fourth and John Smith in fifth. As we see Sam Skellett now up into sixth place and Luke Green behind him in seventh. But Ethan Burley is now right behind Luke Cridland, so Luke must have had a little bit of a mistake at the top corner. Will Ethan be able to try and find a way through? And it looks like Thomas Hughes has had a moment as well, as John Smith is up into fourth place now. Sam Skellett in fifth, uh, Luke Green in sixth, and Thomas Hughes there way back in seventh. So he's got a lot of catching up to do now. Luke Cridland looks like he's opened up the gap quite a bit back to Ethan Burley now, and 
Ethan's not close enough to make a move. Casper's trying to close up in third place, but he's not able to find uh, any speed at the moment to get into that battle. As we now watch Sam Skellett defending from Luke Green, and he is getting a little bit sideways there. They both get sideways, and that is allowing Thomas Hughes to catch straight back up to them. But Sam is defending well here, holding on to that fifth place. As they head back down the hill, we go back to the other side. Luke Cridland has opened up the gap to Ethan Burley. So Ethan is not close enough to be able to make a move at the moment. And Casper Chadwick again, similar, similar distance back in third. And John Smith there in fourth, all on his own now. And this battle for fifth place. Oh, Luke Green has spun. So Sam Skellett in fifth. Thomas Hughes up to sixth. He was a long way back after his earlier spin, so he's done well to catch, catch that distance back up. And unfortunately, Luke Green, who was running second earlier in this race, has had another spin and dropped him back down to seventh. So we now watch Luke Cridland and Ethan Burley heading into the top corner. Ethan has closed up a lot again, but he's still not quite close enough to make a move. Luke Cridland driving really well out in front here, holding on to the lead as they're coming down the hill to start the last lap of the race. Casper Chadwick looks like he's had a little bit of a moment and dropped further back, but he's still holding on to that third place. Thomas Hughes in sixth there. He doesn't look quite close enough to Sam Skellett and Luke Green behind him not quite close enough to make a move either. But back to the leaders. Luke Cridland has enough of a gap back to Ethan Burley. Ethan closes up through the top corner, but Luke looks like he's got it done. He's got enough of a gap as they head back down the hill to take the checkered flag. And it is Luke Cridland that takes the win ahead of Ethan Burley. Casper uh, Chadwick still in that third place as he heading down the hill to take third place and he takes a very well deserved third place John Smith after his earlier spin took fourth and here is the battle for fifth Sam Skellett still holding on Thomas Hughes looks like he's actually more under pressure from Luke Green now and Sam heads down the hill to take the checkered flag and he holds on to fifth place ahead of Thomas Hughes with Luke Green in seventh so that was a good drive there from Sam to hold on to fifth but the win went to Luke Cridland and he scores 40 points for the championship for finishing ninth overall in today's event. Ethan Burley finishes second in the B final, Casper Chadwick in third. And here is confirmation of the championship standings then. So Ryan Taylor leads the way, three points clear of George Taylor. And there is Luke Cridland in ninth place after the victory in that B final, just one point behind Oscar Eisden. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully we'll see you again soon for round two.